welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Flemington to check out this brand new 2025 Dodge Durango. This is the GT trim with all wheel drive. Also has the plus package and the black top package. Diamond black is the color. We got black leather interior with red cross stitch. A lot of different great options in here, including a Uconnect 5. So as we go through this 25 Durango, you can let me know since we're still bringing the naturally aspirated V6, is this, in 2025, the midsize three-row SUV you would buy? So let's dig in. Front end of our 25 Durango, and we are dancing through the raindrops, as you can see all the puddles here, as I'm trying to keep this vehicle as clean as I can with a dirt lot with this concrete slab, so bear with me. So here we go, front end of our Durango, diamond black, full spread of LED lighting up front, as well as our functional heat extractors right here and hood scoop looking good, cold air in, hot air out, functionality in the grill top and bottom with side air curtains, looking mean on the front of this Durango. Now when we go to a wheel and tire setup, we're looking at a 20 inch black noise machined aluminum alloy wheel with the Dodge badge on the center cap. These wheels are wrapped in Pirelli, Scorpion, Verde, all-season tires, 265 on the width of 50 series sidewall 20s, all four corners, all-wheel drive, moving on out, diamond black, no chrome on the side of the vehicle at all, looking pretty sinister, let me know what you think, moving on in, color match side view mirror, LED turn signals, color match front and rear door handle, left side fuel filler cap, up top, we do have our roof rails, Shark fin antenna, color matched roof. Rear end, full spread of LED lighting back here as well, as well as the wiper down below on the glass. Dodge right in the middle. Functional dual exhaust. Durango on the left of the tailgate. GT on the right. Tow panel in the middle. We'll go over those numbers when we check out this V6 engine. We are under the hood of this 25 Durango GT. And what do we have for a power plant? We have Dodge's 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission, 295 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque, up to 6,200 pounds of towing, MPGs, 17 in the city, 24 on the highway, 20 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much? Well, here we go. 25 Durango GT, all-wheel drive base price, $43,995. Now, this vehicle has got a lot of options on it, including the Plus package and the Blacktop package, which we'll go over when we check out the window sticker. But once you add those in, and a destination and delivery of $1,595 from Dodge's Detroit, Michigan assembly plant, we have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $51,585. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, we'll move in closer. We're gonna go soft touch up top, smoked chrome on the door handle with some gloss black, two memory seat settings, soft armrest in black with the red cross stitch, flat black on the switch gear, but no power fold mirrors, nice large door pocket, Speaker wise, we have a nine speaker Alpine sound system with a 506 watt amplifier. Moving on into the foot box, we do have the push on, push off parking brake, dead pedal, brake and accelerator, all season mats in the vehicle. We do have the Dodge door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. Now, power seats for the driver and the front passenger with lumbar. Then we have black leather with the red cross stitch Dodge emblem embroidered into the seats, looking good. Nice soft headrest, feels good on the seats. Front passenger door panel, same as the driver, except you don't have memory seat settings. Then we have our dash, soft touch, some faux carbon fiber, I would say, look in here. Then we have the black with the red cross stitch into our heat and air vents. And then down below, nice large glove box. And then over here next to the glove box, that's where you're gonna see your 12 volt. So they got you set there. Infotainment system time, we have Dodge's fully integrated 10.1 inch Uconnect 5, wireless CarPlay Android Auto. We have our home, we're in, right now we're in our nav. We do have dual climate, three stage heated seats, 
three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger, along with a heated steering wheel, which you can sync to your climate system. And that's the same on the front passenger side as well. So that's a nice touch. We have our home button, which we can go to, where we have our maps. Now we have our Sirius XM coming up. We can turn the volume down. We can bring up our Sirius XM and all the presets. We have our media right here, right? There's your Sirius XM with regular FM radio stations right here. We can go to sources and we can get FM radio, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, AM radio, USB, Amazon Alexa, Bluetooth, all that jazz in there. So I do like that. What's playing, browsing channels, your audio setting, settings for your Alpine speaker system in here as well. You got your comfort mode where you can bring up your dual climate right there and you can sync them together, do whatever you want from here. You got your phone Bluetooth right there. And then you have your vehicle settings right here where you have your controls, where you can lower those third row headrests from here. You have your settings where you can get your driver profile, set your clock, all that other good stuff. Lights, you can go into our lights, head up display, headlight illumination, daytime running lights, set those up. Anything you want to do in here is right there. Here's your apps right here. Device manager, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. They got you all set there. So it's a nice, easy system to use. Uconnect 5, one of the be best systems on the market. We go to reverse. Nice large backup camera with trajectory, but we got the older camera in here. It would be nice to see something a little bit clearer in this 25 Durango. Down further, push button start right there. We do have our trailer brake right here. So you got, you're all set down there. And then we have our redundancy controls for our climate system and our heated ventilated seats. If you don't want to use the touch screen, you can just use the buttons down here. So I like those redundancies in place. We have engine auto stop start on off, sport mode on off, eco on off, traction control off, parking sensors, and our lane keep assist on off down below. Two USB-Cs, two USB-As, and an aux jack with a wireless charging pad. We have the leather gator to go through this 8-speed automatic. Would have been nice to have the red stitching in here to match, but you let me know. Two cup holders right here. Dodge right here. Lock, a dot key fob. Unlock, lock. Pop the uh, tailgate. Remote start. Panic button. There's your Dodge emblem, looking good, feels good. And then we have a nice soft armrest. We open that up and we have a nice area for storage. And then you also have felt line top one where you can lie your phone in. So when you first open it, that's what it's gonna look like. And then you can open that up and go deeper. So I do like that. Durango steering wheel, nice leather wrap wheel, nice 10 and two notches, feels good, flat bottom wheel. But I have plenty of room to get in and out of this spacious passenger cockpit no problem at five foot eleven we do have the trim ring with the dodge name on the horn button on the left flat black we're going to have controls for the digital portion of your dash telephone voice commands on the left on the right you got your adaptive cruise we do have paddles they go up and down this six speed or excuse me eight speed automatic manually and then on our left stock we're going to have our windshield wipers and turn signals right there and then down below Headlight controls, bright and dim the dash, and we do have an electric tilting and telescoping wheel. So that's a nice touch. Moving on in closer, there is the dash. There you have it. You want sport mode on, you hit sport mode on, and there you go. It is on. You got the checkered flag and you're ready to rock and roll. Or you can have your eco mode on or off as well. And then you have additional pages you can go through in the center if you want to see additional information while you're going down the road. Overhead console, there's your three garage door programmables right there. If you want to uh, get your dome lighting to come on and off, do nothing. Just leave all the buttons off. When you open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, lighting dims out. Spot for your shades right there. Now, we do have a standard sunroof. The shade is manual, so you can throw it back. And then you just hit the button, opens up, wind buffeter comes up, it goes back, and then one touch closed. And you do have a tilt function as well. 
called vent right here. And then you just close the shade back with your hands. Rear view mirror, SOS button right there, auto dim. We do have a sun visor with vanity and a light. And does it slide? Yes, it does. Getting in the mid row of your Durango, but first the rear door panel, moving in closer, soft touch again with the soft armrest and the stitching. So I like the consistency design. Same use of materials front and back, which is a good deal. Now I have the driver's seat set for my driving position. So let's hop on in. Nice flat roof, piece of cake to get into at five foot 11. Plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees back here as well. So even for folks well over six foot tall, you're gonna be in good shape. We got leather, and then we go plastic and a cargo net, which, is, which I'm not in love with in here. And then down further, we do have two heat and air vents, two stage heated seats for the outboard mid-row passengers, two USBs that are charging, and a home power source. So they got you all set in here. The mid-row is a bench. Same nice leather, perforated, nice and soft, armrest, soft, two cup holders. So overall, we do have a 2-3-2 two, two configuration in this Durango. So that means seven passengers, and it's very comfortable. And I have my heat and air controls in the ceiling or in the roof above the mid-row. So I do like that as well. Getting in row number three, it's really easy. It's a one-handed operation over those two step. First, you hit this, let the seat go down. Then you pull your red strap and it lifts up and out of the way. Piece of cake. Now we can just step right into row number three. As you can see, row number three, before I get into it, has that same nice leather, black with the cross stitch, nice headrest, nice and soft, feels good. You sit in here and they feel very poofy. I got enough room for my head, shoulders, and knees. I do have uh, heat and air vents in the roof with some lighting back here as well. But what I don't have is, oh, I don't have any USB connectivity back here. I got a cup holder on each side, but that's it. But as far as comfort goes, and if I slide over behind this one, I got plenty of room for my knees. So at five foot 11, I can sit back here for a while on a longer road trip, maybe not forever but it will fit a full-size adult, which I do like in this Durango quite a bit. Getting in the cargo area of this Durango GT Plus, you can pop it from the overhead console where your sunroof controls are, or you can pop it from the key fob, or you can come to the back. And right underneath the license plate, there's a button. You hit it. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button right here. With all the rows up, 17.2 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of the Durango. Here are the rest of the floor mats. And then underneath here, more storage, as you can see. And underneath this uh, panel, the storage panel, is the spare. So thank you, Dodge, for the spare. In the back, we have some tie downs. We have a 12 volt in case you need power back here. So that's a nice touch. And to get the rear seats down, that's a piece of cake, right? So all you need to do is pull this and shove them forward. Pull that, the headrest drops, and you can shove them forward. And now you got more room. And let me know if you're going to rock and roll with that third row up or down. But to get the mid row down, you got to go around to each side because we do not have pull levers in the cargo area to drop the mid row. So you go around each side and drop it. And so now with this big boxy shape, and both the mid row and the third row down, we're looking at 85.1 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this 25 Durango GT. Window sticker here on this 25 Durango. My apologies for the glare, but we have been getting rain and it is cloudy out. So here we go. 25 Durango GT blacktop, base price, standard equipment. And we got the big plus package for an additional four grand. Then the blacktop package for an additional 1,995. Total vehicle MSRP, 51,585. Fuel economy estimates. Crash ratings. Made by Dodge in Detroit. Take this baby out for a spin.
All right, we're on the road in this 25 Durango GT Plus, and right off the bat, great visibility, visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirror, rear window, no problem. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz in this vehicle for safety. I got LED lighting on the exterior, up front and out back for safety as well. And the Durango is a good solid SUV. It's an older design, exterior, interior, but I think the exterior looks are just fantastic. It looks sinister in this black too. So let me know what you think about the all black look on the outside with the diamond black, but I think it makes it look sinister. And I love the way the front end looks with that LED lighting with the black with the heat extractors and the scoop on front that are functional on the hood makes it really look mean on the front uh, and the exhaust note even with the V6 is pretty darn good uh, handling wise you know it's a bit light because it's an SUV but it's very direct you have the trailering pages in here which I didn't show you so you can hook up your trailer you get up to 6200 pounds of towing with the 3.6 liter V6 but I got heated ventilated seats heated steering wheel wireless charging pad USB a USB C connectivity aux jack heated mid row I mean I got a lot of nice stuff in here and I finally have a Durango here which I think is at a pretty competitive price point of just under 52 grand for everything that you get uh, obviously it's gonna be more expensive than like say the Korean offerings of the Palisade and Telluride, but from the American offerings, Traverse, Explore, and this, uh, you know, heck, this one is pretty competitive if you look at the competing trims from Ford and Chevy. Uh, and it, it's got a good amount of room with the, you know, 85 cubic feet of space with both rear seats down, holds seven people, pretty good. Steering's nice and crisp. And the best thing about it is, for me, it's got the naturally aspirated V6. Sure, you can get the RT, get the V8, but if you're going to go on a road trip, you want to cover some miles, this V6 is fine. Nice linear torque delivery out of this V6. Heck, we just jumped out of that new 25 QX60 with the Turbo 4 now. And this thing is miles, miles better on the acceleration. I love that linear torque delivery out of a naturally aspirated engine. And this V6 gets just gets right down the road. You, know, you lose a couple miles per gallon from a turbo four in this, but I just think you're gonna get better towing experience uh, because you're not overstressing a four cylinder engine under load. And you're gonna get a more pleasant takeoff experience with that linear smooth torque delivery out of this V6 rather than a turbo four. I just think it's a smart move for Dodge to bring this Durango back for 25. I wasn't sure if they were going to, but to bring it back and also keep the V6 with the RTV8 option, I think it's fantastic for at least one more year. Gotta give Dodge credit for that. People like these and I can see why. It's well built, made in America, uh, right up there in good old Detroit. Uh, it looks good, it handles good, the seats are comfortable, the handling is pretty good for a big SUV, so you really can't complain about the package you get here, and in this particular one, you can certainly get Durangos that are way overpriced with unnecessary massive options, but you know what, the plus package with the blacktop package for 51 I don't think that's bad. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But now we do got the 20 inch wheels. So we are gonna have a 20 and a half foot turning radius, but it zips right around. And the other thing I like about this is, just like the Explorer and the Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're rear wheel drive. So when you are in two wheel drive, you are in rear wheel drive as conditions warrant, road, deterior, road conditions deteriorate, the vehicle sends power to the front wheels to give you the all wheel drive, maintain traction. That's what this is all about. Now let's go to sport sport mode on and let's move the gear shift to the left hit manual and let's try out our paddles pretty good on the way up nice and responsive on the way down
and it gets the job done nice shifting out of this eight speed automatic whether it's shifting on its own or whether you got the paddles sport mode everything tightens up as you can tell it's going to hold its gear better we'll get it back in regular drive now sport mode is now off and everything settles back down so i just think they do the durango really really well and i really think if you're looking for that three row midsize and you want rear wheel drive there's not a lot of options out there like i said pretty much grand cherokee explorer and this i take a look at a durango i know it's an older style is a little bit dated on the inside but you get a lot of nice stuff you get good performance you get rear wheel drive which is going to give you better handling and i think you'll be pleased with how it rides it rides really well but you let me know in the comments is the dodge durango gt is this the the, the suv midsize suv you would buy or are you going somewhere else put in the comments and let me know but i do want to thank sioka chrysler dodge jeep and ram here in flemington new jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2025 Dodge Durango GT Plus in diamond black for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.